We just spoke to Amy Noel Gallo about a very special but rare circumstance in which a person was facing foreclosure because of the CARES Act forbearance, but got out of it without even dinging her credit. And the person who actually got the loan through for the buyers is my good friend, Karina Backer of Finance Home America in McAllen, Texas. Karina, it is so good to see you. Welcome to the Open House Show. Hi, Robert. Good to see you too. <laughs> So how did you handle the financing for that particular transaction? We just really just prepare the client more than anything, because if if the customer comes in and is buying a home, they get pre-qualified and they come with a contract um, that has been approved for short sale. We just prepare them for the length of time that it's going to take, because the bank has to basically approve everything ahead of time. Sometimes it can take many, many months while the bank, you know, churns through the process. This one went fast, but so basically your advice is it's just like any old loan, just you've got to be ready for the bank's time frame. Yes, it's we're all in the bank's time frame. It's when they're ready to close, that's when we we tell our client, okay. Now it's time to go to the bank and go sign. Amy Noel mentioned that you are being bombarded with home purchase contracts from people from Michigan, from Wisconsin. Are these often their second homes and don't they have a mortgage on their original house? How do you finance that second home? The minimum required down payment for a second home is 10% down. Um, and they don't necessarily need to own where they're from. So for example, if the client just lives in California and rents there and works there, but they want to purchase a home here, they can with, with as little as 10% down. On the idea of investment properties, I've seen a couple of beautiful like quadruplexes that are for sale. So how do you qualify for that? I mean, if you have a mortgage, but you're like, oh, that's a good deal and I want to buy now while it's hot. So the normal down payment for an investment property is 20% down. But if it's a fourplex or if it's a condominium, the minimum requirement is usually 25% down for that. Karina, real estate's hot. It's going it to stay is. hot. It is. Thank you so much for being on the Thank Open House you. Show. Okay. Thank you too. Thank you, Robert. Bye-bye.